Hello and welcome to Hades tutorial. Um, in this class, we'll be making a smudge signature. Um, it be in this style. This is the outcome. Um, it's a nice enough style. Um, you won't need much requirements for this. All you need is some basic Photoshop knowledge and a, a render to use. Or you can cut up a stock if you want and render. But um, yeah, it can. It turns out really nice whenever uh, you put a bit of time into it. It can be frustrating, but you can get that. But anyway, first of all, we make a new document. And I went 450 by 175 and left the resolution at 72. And uh, yeah, I say uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, open up your render, pick a nice render with lots of colours and uh, a high quality one. You don't want one that's blurry or cut wrong or anything like that. And uh, erase your uh, what's called an icon or whatever you call them things, tags or something. And place in your render. And you're going to duplicate this and make the background black and you can hide the bottom duplicate, it's just for a backup really. And I'm going to convert this to a small filter. Uh, well I usually always do that when I'm placing a render just so I can uh, rescale it then if I need to. But anyway, just uh, size it in your render if you need to and place it where you want to. And then we will get, well yeah, unhide your bottom layer and we will start uh, making our background what we're going to smudge. And you want to like find colours that you like in the the background of the, the, the render that you like. See these like greens and browns and then the, the bright browns. It's going to be uh, what you're going to be smudging with. And um, erase parts that you don't like. like you can duplicate your, render, your bottom render layer a couple of times and replace it until you're happy enough with a background like just keep doing what I'm doing here and you get an idea of uh, what I'm at and then when you finish that hide your render and then uh, apply uh, make a new layer on top of them all and apply the image or underneath your render and apply the image and then we get our smudge to it and we're going to be working with um, uh, a brush around 15 15 pixels and it's going to be hard and the strength is going to be set to about 95% uh, 95 to 98 and then we're going to zoom into our document yes yeah, make sure you have the right strength and zoom into your document and first of all we're going to be working with our flow and uh, look have a look at your render to get an idea of what the flow is going to be like in this one you can see your finger and the way our, our, our hair is going and stuff like that and then just start to smudge out to make the flow. So start, you always want the flow first for the style. And um, just drag it out, pull it to the corners or whatever way you want. But uh, try not to, to smudge it in straight lines. Straight lines are terrible whenever you're smudging. And um, you, can, you, you can really uh, you can tell the difference. Like in the, how the quality of the image is in straight. I think it's just terrible. But anyway, just uh, work on your flow. Keep pulling it in like that, and you don't want to keep pulling the same color the whole time. You want you want colors to be alongside each other, like a, like a transition, a sharp transition. Like um, you can see that green there that I done there. I'm gonna go unless you're here, look, see that yellow and the black all up against it. You can see now when I get into the tie, what I'm on about. Now what I'm doing here, I'm just pulling the the brown back in to make kind of effect. Uh, Try and do that in the circular style as well. And um, let's keep continuing with your flow then. Well, I'm going to speed it up now and have a look what I'm doing here. I'm just going to, because uh, there's no point, this uh, is a remake of this tutorial actually. And, uh, the last one was only half an hour long, so it's just fuck it, I'd make a new one. And uh, it's because it'd be a bit boring watching this like the whole way through, like it's half an hour this campaign the arse. But yeah, see what I'm doing here. I'm dragging out and bringing it back in to kind of make a little effect. And uh, see the black bits, like I pull them out and bring in the brown. Oh 
I just make like to make sure that there's plenty of colors in the tag anyway. Because if you don't, if it's uh, black and white, if you, if you can you can do it black and white as well. Like it, looks, it turns out well with black and white, but I just like colors. It looks good. Cool. Yeah, see what I'm doing here, like I'm. Kind of, it's like almost like 3D kind of like you try. You want to make that, uh, try and make that with the with the way you're pulling the the pixels or the, the colors in the pixels, like um, because you don't want a, like a sharp a sharp transition. Really, you want to kind of kind of like kind of try to transition softly. It's a good idea to, to zoom out every so often as well, just to see what it looks like overall. Because if you keep it in, zoomed in like this here, and then when you come to the end of your tag and you've it all done, and you zoom out and you go fuck, it looks shit. Um, you're going to be kicking yourself and you have to start all over again. Yeah, but like this here, just try and keep the colors kind of like <coughs> the changing and try and make them um, complement each other. Like you don't want colors that don't look well together. Like. So always circle motions and like you don't want to be pulling any straight lines. So we nearly finished the, this part of the signature now. So that's why I sped this up. So this is the second time I had to make this. Well, there was two reasons really. The first reason was it was too long, and the second reason was YouTube actually kind of stopped my video in a few countries because it had fucking music in it that was copyrighted but I was under the impression that you were allowed to use copyright material if it's educational purposes but I don't know I made a dispute they never got back so fuck it I started a new one so that's the smudge done so far next we're going to um, smudge or blend in our render now you, for this here you just want to grab bits of your render like that there and just pull it out uh, kind of blend it in the same way as we were smudging in the background and blend it in circular motions as well and you don't want to be grabbing any of the main features of the of the the focal because if you do it look terrible you just want to grab kind of like things that stick in there so stuff that won't stand out really just kind of lets it make it sit into the tag really Data. Right, that looks okay. And next, we added some gradient maps. And the first one was going to be black to white, and we'd set this one to luminosity and decrease the opacity to 70%. And again, we'll make another uh, gradient map. This one time, we go purple orange, and we set this to overlay. Uh, set the opacity to ten percent, and I'm just going to duplicate this gradient map and just change the settings. And I'm going to pick brown, dark brown to like a greeny color. And next we'll add a photo filter, and 
signature, see what one fits your signature the best. Yeah, I went with an iron swarming filter. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to add a light source, and for this I just added a lens flare. Um, you can get loads of these in Google Images, there's tons of them about, or DeviantArt, or other resource websites. A lens flare, yeah. And I just go for this one here, and you can place it in, and I set the layer style to linear dodge. And just place it in where you want. Where, you, where it's right actually, because you always look at the render to see where the light's coming in or the shading is on our face or or your render, wherever it's, it should be. I mean, happy then, just place that. And actually, I'm going to drag this underneath my uh, adjustment layers. And then I'm going to make a new layer and apply some shading or shadows up. Just darken at the edges like this here. And then you can lower the opacity of this a bit until it looks okay, it's blending in nice. And we make a new layer on top of all this, and we will apply the image. And then we go filter, sharpen, and sharpen. Um, I'm going to mask off the background. Because you want the the render to stand out more, the focal. And I'm going to make a new layer and uh, yeah, sorry, decrease the opacity of that sharpening layer to about thirty percent. And with our new layer, then we can apply the image and. Sharpen this. I forgot to sharpen this in the original video. It's like, what am I doing? Yeah, so we sharpen this and we lower the opacity of this a bit as well, and it looks okay. Next, we'll add a curves there and then we'll bring down our, our low tones just a tad, not too much, then, and bring up our mid tones a bit. When you're happy with enough with that, then, then it's time to add some text. Just type female for this. And place it in. And I'm going to just put a gradient on this. I'm going to change the angle to zero. And I'm going to cut a three point gradient. And I'm going to choose colors that's in the signature. the layer style of the first bit of text we've done and pasted it onto the new smudge text and uh, I'm just going to change the font of this.
hairs can be tricky sometimes. Just keep messing around until you find something that you're happy with. Like. Subtext really makes it stand out something good. Like Start them to save the document. By rights, we should have been saving it a couple of times during that time because if Photoshop crashes, then the fuck is going to start doing the game. So I don't want that. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. This is the outcome. I just changed the text a little bit. And uh, it's a really nice style. I'm looking at you. spent time on it. Here's another one I've done. Like, and uh, it turned out okay. And um, uh, by all means, uh, Poistroy comes in the link below. Bye bye.